Welcome to our geography class at Math Zone African Motives. In this video, we'll explore resources and sustainability, a vital part of understanding how humans use and manage the Earth's resources. We'll learn how resources influence economic development, the problems caused by overuse, and how we can live sustainably for the future. Montage of factories, forests, and renewable energy sources. Title. Resources and Sustainability, Grade 11 Geography. Unit 1. Using Resources. 1. What are resources? Resources are the things people need and use. They can be natural, like air, water, and minerals, or economic, like factories and money. Some resources are renewable, meaning they can be replaced, like sunlight, wind, and water. Others are non-renewable, like coal, oil, and gold, which can run out if overused 1.2. Resources and economic development. Countries with rich resource bases tend to be more developed. Nations like America, Britain, and Germany owe their growth to their abundant resources and technology. Developing countries must use resources wisely to improve living standards without causing depletion. Resource depletion and exploitation. Resource depletion means using up materials faster than they can be replaced. Main causes include overconsumption, population growth, industrialization, and mining for oil and minerals. Point four. Problems from resource exploitation over exploitation leads to serious environmental issues such as deforestation, which increases soil erosion and CO2 levels. Greenhouse gases from burning fossil fuels contributing to climate change. 5. What is sustainability? Sustainability means meeting today's needs without compromising the future. It includes social, environmental, and economic balance. For example, reuse, recycle, and soil conservation equal sustainable. Deforestation and overmining ill unsustainable. Unit 2. Soils and Soil Erosion 2.1. What is soil? Soil is a thin layer covering the earth, made up of minerals, organic matter, water, air, and living organisms. It's slowly renewed but takes thousands of years to form 2.2, how soils are formed. Soil forms when rock breaks down through weathering, mixed with air, water, and decaying plants. 2.3 factors affecting soil formation. The five key factors are time, Soils take thousands of years to mature. Parent material. Rock type influences minerals. Climate, rainfall, and temperature affect weathering. Organisms, plants, and earthworms enrich soil. Relief. Slope and sunlight affect moisture and vegetation. Soil erosion. Soil erosion happens when the top layer of soil is removed by wind or water. Wind erosion removes soil from plowed fields. Water erosion happens during storms. Rain splash dislodges soil and creates gullies. Human causes of erosion. Overgrazing. Too many animals eat vegetation. Plowing down slopes increases runoff and loss of topsoil. Deforestation removes protective cover. South Africa loses about 13 tons of soil per hectare each year. Effects and Solutions Erosion reduces soil fertility and pollutes rivers with silt. To prevent it, use contour plowing, rotate grazing, plant trees, maintain vegetation cover, and educate farmers. Unit 3. Conventional Energy Sources 3.1. Electricity from Coal in South Africa, 77% of electricity comes from coal. Coal is burned in power stations to create steam, which turns turbines and generates electricity coal, boiler, turbine, generator, power lines. 3.2. Advantages and Disadvantages Advantages Abundant reserves Reliable energy Established infrastructure Disadvantages Air pollution and greenhouse gases. Expensive construction, environmental damage in mining areas. 3.3 Coal mining and environmental impact. Open cast mining destroys landscapes and leads to acid mine drainage. Coal burning causes smog, acid rain, and releases millions of tons of CO23.4. 
nuclear energy. Nuclear power generates massive energy from atomic reactions without releasing greenhouse gases. But the waste is radioactive, dangerous, and expensive to manage, South Africa's Energy Plan, 2030. By 2030, South Africa aims for 48% coal percent nuclear percent, renewable to percent gas turbines percent, pumped storage percent hydropower. Unit 4, non-conventional energy 4.1 solar energy. The sun provides enough energy in one hour to power the world for a year. Solar panels convert sunlight into electricity through photovoltaic cells. Wind energy. Wind is renewable, clean, and cost-effective. South Africa's first wind farms are at Darling and Cliffhewel, producing electricity for thousands of homes. Renewable projects. In 2011, South Africa launched major projects, Sear Wind Farm and Uppington Solar Plant, each producing $100 million of clean energy. Point four. Future innovations. Emerging ideas include artificial photosynthesis, underwater kites, and solar buildings with built-in power systems. Unit 5. Energy Management in South Africa. Point 1. The challenge South Africa must balance economic growth with clean energy. We need more electricity, but also greener solutions. 5.2. Greener economies and sustainability. A green economy improves people's lives while reducing environmental risks. Sustainable living means using fewer natural resources and lowering our carbon footprint. 3. Shared responsibilities. Governments make laws and promote renewable energy. Businesses reduce waste and emissions. Individuals can recycle, save energy, and think globally, act locally. The carbon footprint. Our carbon footprint measures how much CO2 we create from energy use. We can reduce it by walking more, using renewable energy, and consuming less. We've learned that resources power our world, but how we use them determines our future. Sustainability is not just a choice, it's a responsibility. Together we can protect the planet for generations to come.